Howdy folks, my name is David and I'm the Education Learning Specialist here at Figma for EDU. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock the full potential of the FigJam Google Classroom add-on. Everything from whipping up assignments super fast to easily grading them. But before we jump in, there's one small detail. Your school district needs to be on the Google Workspace for Education Plus tier or have the teaching and learning upgrade. If your school doesn't have Plus, you can always use the Share to Classroom button for getting those FigJam files to your students. Depending on how your admin has set up your school's Google Workspace accounts, they may need to allow installation of the FigJam add-on before you get started. But don't worry. In the description below, I've linked out instructions on how your admin can do this in 30 seconds or less. With that said, let's jump in and start exploring how the FigJam add-on can make your lessons even more interactive. Now let's get this add-on installed for you. Please visit the link in the description that starts with workspace.google.com slash marketplace and click on install. Click through the necessary permissions and finalize the installment. Head to your Google Classroom and start to create a new assignment. When you click on assignment, you'll see that in the preview of add-ons, FigJam is right there. Select the FigJam icon and sign into your school account. Once signed in, the add-on will preview your existing FigJam files. If you don't have any, no worries. You can go down to the bottom right and create a new file from scratch. Name your FigJam file and add the elements in you wish for students to complete. In this example, I'm adding in a base 10 template for students to work on. Head back to your Google Classroom tab and you'll see that that assignment lives in the top left of your add-on because it's the most recent. If you ever notice that a file is blank, give it a few minutes and it will populate everything that you just added in. Once the file is loaded, select the file and then go back down to the Select File button. In the next step, you'll be asked how you want to share this file. The first option is to let students join and edit this file directly, getting all of your students in your classroom into one file together. The next option is to make a copy for each student. This is where every individual student has their own copy of this file you've created. For this example, I'm gonna make a copy for each student. Select Add File, Finish all the Google Classroom details that you wish to assign, and then assign the lesson. Click on the assignment, and you can see that all of your students have that assignment inside of their Google Classroom. One thing to note is when you click on the assignment before students have interacted with it, it's going to say file missing. So encourage your students to open the file, and then you also have viewing and editing access to it. Let's switch to student view and see how this looks. Here I am in student view. I'm gonna click on assignment number five, base 10 lesson. When I click here, you'll see that a preview pops up and I am prompted to open in FigJam. When I open it in FigJam, here I am at the lesson my teacher assigned. I'm even given a reminder to turn this in in Google Classroom, thanks to the Google Classroom add-on. I can complete the assignment as desired and go back to Google Classroom and turn this in. I'll click turn in and I'm done. Let's go back to the teacher view and see how that turned in assignment looks for us. When I open the assignment up, I can select the turned in assignment and view that student's contribution to their work. And I'm right inside of Google Classroom's add-on. I can see everything in the FigJam file. I can add sticky notes. I can do all sorts of things. And it's pretty nifty right inside of Google Classroom. Let's check out another assignment and see how I can click through multiple students' work at once. I'm gonna scroll on down to number one personal portfolio and see how my students are doing. Looks like no one has turned it in. Let's see what my students are up to. I'm gonna click on Assign, and once here, let's select Student 2. Now, right inside of the FigJam add-on, I can zoom on in and check out where my students are. What's really cool too, is I can add features such as comments and leave feedback for my students without having to leave Google Classroom. I can leave that feedback and go to the next student by going to the top of my Google Classroom and clicking Next Student. I can review this student's FigJam file, check out all that they're doing, and if I wanted to, even add things like widgets right here inside of Google Classroom. For this one, I might encourage the student to add a voice memo to really bring their portfolio to life. As I continue to review the student's work, I can give them a grade over here on the right-hand side and leave a private comment directly for that student. I can even skip through and go to all of my students in this assignment and check out how they're doing. This is really nice in that I don't have to worry about going back to Figma to find their files. I can do all of that right inside of my Google Classroom. Congrats, you're officially a pro using the FigJam Google Classroom add-on. But before we call it a day, here are three quick but super important details to remember. First, double check those sharing permissions before assigning work on Google Classroom. 
Trust me, it's the difference between smooth sailing and a student mutiny over who can edit what. Secondly, if your admin hasn't given you permission, email education at figma.com and we can help you out. And lastly, if you don't already have a free Figma for EDU account, please visit figma.com slash education slash apply to get one. Thanks folks. As always, happy jamming.